Chris Hinkle with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty, and I am here at 11265 Mount Rose View Court over here in Truckee today. There's a home that just came up for sale this weekend. It, they're asking $1,475,000. It's a pretty decent place. The lot is awesome. It sits on two and a half acres. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath house, or four bedroom, two bath house. Let's go on inside and take a look. It's a horse property. I know the family that used to live here used to have horses, two and a half acres. It's all single level. This neighborhood is super quiet. I mean, you can hear the airport uh, or an airplane overhead, but there aren't too many homes beyond this. So the street is quiet. It's really close to uh, Prosser Dam. So you can access trails and hiking and biking and snowmobiling really close by. It's gets loads of sun here. So the outside I think is built in the 70s this house. I can't remember exactly. But the backyard is all fenced in for dogs. People are selling because they raised their kids here and they're selling the house because they're moving to Reno or they moved to Reno. It's an older house. Some of the windows are fogged. They don't have any home inspections on it. But um, I can see that they've painted it. It's just this T111 siding. But um, it's older, could definitely use some help, but it's in an awesome neighborhood. Let's go on inside. Okay, I'm going in. You have this um, slate tile on the floor here, and you go into the sunken living room, which is was kind of a thing um, a couple of decades ago. You know, the house is a bit worn, but I think it has good bones, and has a lot of potential. It gets a lot of light in here. It has a wood-burning stove, has natural um, gas, forced air heating as well. There's kind of this little sunroom area here. I don't know if this area used to be outside the house or what, but um, so on the right side here we have three bedrooms and a bathroom, and on the left side here we have the kitchen and the master. So I guess you could put a little breakfast bar here. Kitchen. Let's see if the, we can get a light on here. The, um, the kitchen isn't gigantic. It's kind of galley style kitchen. It's big enough for a family of four probably. Um, a big dining room here. A little closet off to the side. Okay, so I'm going to go back through the kitchen, and then this is the door into the garage. It has a pretty good sized garage. Those garage doors look like they've had some, they have some water staining on the door. And uh, I mean, it definitely looks like a house that's been lived in full time, so it's not in perfect condition by any means, but it's decent. Okay, I'm going to keep going down this down into the master bedroom. I guess they must have put their TV in that little nook there, maybe. So it's a pretty decent size. Looks like some peeling wallpaper up there. Um, they have a newer vanity top, it looks like. Two sinks, copper sinks. Decent sized walk-in closet. It's funny, there's wallpaper all over the place that you might want to take off, but it has a big shower. I mean, I'm saying the floor plan is pretty good, except you would really want to, here's the laundry, walk through the laundry back into the kitchen. Um, you'd really want to do a remodel in here. It's certainly livable the way it is, but you know, most people, if you can, you remodel it. There's some really great houses in this neighborhood and the valleys in this neighborhood are gonna stay up. Um, this is considered a one of the bedrooms. It's bigger room. Bedroom number three. Bathroom number two. So yeah, it's not a two and a half bathroom. It's just a two bathroom house. Oh, that window. I don't know if it's broken. No, I think it's just the kind of the glazing. The whole window isn't broken, but 
Anyhow, um, so now here's bedroom number four. Kind of an average, probably 12 by 12 size bedrooms. Um, so there you have it. We can go out in the backyard and take a look around. There's a hot tub sitting up on a little mini deck over there. I know they had horses. I don't know how far back the property goes, but it is two and a half acres. Had a big trampoline. So this is a great fenced in area for the dog. I do have a parcel map that I can add on. I see a corral further back. It's super private. This is an awesome, awesome neighborhood, but the house needs some work. I can, looks like the roofing is not new. It looks like it still has some life in it, but uh, it doesn't look brand new. Looks like aluminum pane windows that are, they're all double pane, but some of them have definitely failed. Some of the seals have failed, but this, the properties in this neighborhood hardly ever come up for sale. And so if you can get something like this and do a remodel on it, it would be well worth it and hold its value. This property is on a well and a septic system, which is like every other property out here. So, so if you have any questions about this home or any others in the neighborhood, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Chris Hinkle. I'm with Sierra Sotheby's International Realty, and you can reach me at 530-412-2644. I look forward to hearing from you.